G'day. Sometimes when we're about ready to throw a brush out, well I've got a brush here that's just about buggered. It's a little Unipro brush. It's only like a 38mm one. Now you see the hairs on it starting to stick out, starting to get a bit hard to handle. So these are only five or six dollar brushes. They normally just throw them out. Well you might throw them out but I don't throw them out. I'm going to show you how to recycle your brushes so that they can be used for probably the same amount of time as you originally did. Okay, so we, what we're going to do to recycle this brush, we're going to get a razor blade or a, um, what's we going to do it here, and use this on our standing knife. And you see how it's all gone thick. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this Stanley knife along the edge like that. I'm going to go down a few mil. I'm not going to be scared of it. Now I've been doing this for a lot of years and sometimes these turn out to be your very best brushes. These are the ones you grab when you really really need them. So they'll all come off like that. Yes I can see it. It'll all come off there. And what happens is it gets thinner. It gets thinner and easier to manage. Got a poly. Now there'll be a few ones that hang out. Now you can do this with your uh, bigger brushes as well. It's not as efficient with these little brushes. I love them. I love them like that. Now, so what I've done is I've now made this brush good again for cutting in for nice um, corners, like painting lintels, painting uh, door sills painting eaves even in around windows it's now ready to go again and I'm going to get just as much work out of this brush now as I did when it was brand new and I'm going to love it it's going to be a beautiful brush now so anyway I just thought I'd share that little thing with you um, so yeah hopefully you can use that bit of information try it have a go at it tell me what you think because really I think it's a brilliant idea how to recycle your brushes. You don't have to buy new ones. I'm, I'm all into recycling. Um, you know, that's that's my middle name basically is recycle. Try and use what you've got. Um, so anyhow. Now I'm going to be doing the lintels with this brush I've just trimmed. Now check that out. You see how that is now beautifully pointed like an artist brush nearly all because of that trim see if I can show you up close how this brush works after it's been trimmed so it's going to get right in there now you see that little bit there watch this it's a beautiful brush now so this can be my new lintel brush but I'll use it for everything Yeah, so that's how you recycle your brushes. And you'll probably be surprised just how good they are after they've been trimmed. And there you go. That's up close. This is a high ceiling house. So what I do to do the lintels is I actually flood get some paint on my brush and I flood that top edge. That's how I do it. I flood that top edge, actually dragging it down to bring paint over that top edge. I'm not actually trying to paint that top edge. And that's how I do that lintel. And in here, we're lucky because it's, the window's already black. 
but that's basically how we go about it. Plenty of brush, plenty of paint. Obviously that you're better off using a a commercial primer on these lintels if it's your own house. The funny thing is I actually one of my houses I did the lintels in an oil based undercoat and when I went back a couple of years later to do a some maintenance on the place the lintels had peeled off unbelievable just peeled off in a sheet so oil based undercoats no good on there yeah, you think it would uh, in other houses that I've been back to that I've just put weather shield low sheen like this on it it's good as gold so there you go that's it and that's our new little brush there so we'll give that a clean up and that's what we'll be using very nice a bit of paint on it you see there it's beautiful thanks for watching and another helpful tip from the painter